Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, November 11th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in football, Monday Night Football in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to take advantage of the free $60 account over at DocSports.com and you're not yet a member, all you gotta do is click on the link below the video, get set up and get yourself started. And you can use those free 60 bucks for any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account, all you gotta do to get started and click on the link below the video. All right, well, after yesterday, we'll head into Monday 7, 3, and 1 overall with this weekend in football. That includes both premium and free picks. 7, 3, and 1 overall. Not a bad weekend overall, but we did lose a top play with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Jameis Winston, couple of picks, and they come up a couple of points short of getting the cover. They did get the straight up win, but not the cover. But uh, overall, again, 7, 3, and 1. And uh, we've got a free pick in Monday Night Football coming up here in just a moment. Moment. Of course, our football plays are available every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific for the entire weekend right through Monday. I didn't happen to have a premium pick in Monday Night Football this week. We've got the free pick coming up in the video in just a moment. Also wanted to mention we cashed our other two sports on Sunday. Of course we won in NASCAR. We win every week in NASCAR, it seems like. We cashed again uh, our matchup on Sunday with the race at Phoenix. Just one to go. And uh, we are now on 14-3 and three and 21-6. and six. Winning runs in NASCAR up over $6,000 for $100 per unit better is going all the way back to May 1st. One more race to go. We'll post it this coming Saturday night, about 11 p.m. Pacific time for Sunday's race at Homestead. NBA, we cashed again. We came right back on Sunday and got in the win column with the Phoenix Suns. Easy winner on Sunday. And we're now on a 54 and 35 winning run in the NBA with our last 89. I've got NBA going on Monday. Big play there. I've got one college back. Basketball play on Monday. We passed on Sunday. Back in action with one underdog on Monday's card. And uh, that's basically what we got going. NHL, just two games and don't like either one. So we're going to pass and wait for Tuesday. But NBA and college basketball, both available during the day over at DocSports.com. Big play in the NBA, 54 and 35 winning run. All right, uh, real quick, want to do what we do on Sunday nights, Monday mornings, which is let you know where those early line moves are happening at the Circa. Going to Saturday, right off the top of the card, you got Kansas State, who opened a 12-point favorite. They are now laying 15 at home to West Virginia. West Virginia, two games in a row where the score didn't really tell the exact uh, story. And uh, we went against them this past weekend, though, and we cashed with Texas Tech. So obviously happy about that. K-State uh, coming off a cover for us. We had, we, we had them plus the points, and they covered for us. But they did lose to Texas. And we'll see how their mindset is after some intense matchups over the past few weeks. Down to game 3 28. Cincinnati opened nine and a half at South Florida. Cincinnati all the way up to 13. Down to game 353, uh, 354. Wyoming is at Utah State. The Aggies of Utah State at home open three. They are up to six. Appalachian State open 13. They're down to 11 against Georgia State. Also on Saturday, you've got uh, Michigan State taking on Michigan. And how about the Spartans, man? They were up 28 to three. Late second quarter over Illinois, 28 to 10 at the half. They blow the game. They blow the lead. They lose the game outright at home to Illinois. And now they've got to try to suit them up, get ready, and get after it at uh, the big house against Michigan. But anyway, the Wolverines open 12. They are up to 15 in that one. Florida's at Missouri this week. The Florida Gators open five. They're all the way up to eight playing at uh, Columbia on Saturday's slate. And uh, that's going to do it for your big moves uh, for uh, this upcoming weekend in college football. Circa opening numbers, we already told you about that, man. If you bet towards those opening numbers when they move two or more points on Sundays, uh, you've been doing quite well. Nine and two the first couple of weeks. I think it went five and three last week. So you're right around 14 and five uh, with this particular situation. So that's why we bring them to you each and every Sunday here on our video report. All right, again, don't forget on Monday over at DocSports.com before I get to the free pick, we've got the big play in the NBA. Look to go to 55 and 35 on our current run. And we've got the underdog, valued underdog in the uh, college baskets. That one will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Monday. Let's get to the free pick for Monday Night Football. And we're going to recommend to play on Seattle plus six and a half right now as I cut this video over San Francisco. I know Seattle's DVOA is not great, not good for the most part, uh, but we have 
have a quarterback in Russell Wilson who has flourished not only in primetime games since he's been with Seattle and Pete Carroll's done quite well in these primetime games, but also when he's been a decent sized underdog. This is only the sixth time when Seattle's received six or more points with Russell Wilson at quarterback. Well, they've covered the first five. This will be number six tonight if they get the job done. And the one thing I know about San Francisco thus far, I mean, they're an absolute beast, obviously, this year. They've played well all season long to get to this undefeated mark this late into the season. Uh, but we've really yet to see Jimmy Garoppolo have to put the offense on his shoulders and carry them to a victory. And I think Seattle's going to try their best to make Garoppolo have to win the game. And we like Seattle to at least hang the number here. I uh, hope you agree with us. If you do, there you go. If not, then definitely uh, play the side that you like the best. But for us, it's a recommendation, a free pick on the Seattle Seahawks, plus the points, getting about six and a half over San Francisco. It's going to do it for us for Monday's report. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. We'll be right back here Tuesday at 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Let's put them in the wind column on Monday, guys. See you on Tuesday morning.